A couple of weeks ago, Linda and I did a video talking about the things um, that we've done or that we've obtained to make our uh, life more comfortable on the road. And in that video, I mentioned that Linda um, wanted me to do some remodeling in the trailer. You might remember this part of the video. Yeah, look at this mess up here in the front. This is the biggest part of the remodel job that Linda has planned for me when we get home and the weather warms up. Well, look at that where your coat and hat is. That's a horrible, horrible mess. Uh, yeah, you're right, it is. This, we've got plans for, uh, the stove's gonna have to go higher because it's gonna sit on top of a countertop up here. There's gonna be drawers down below, there's going to be bins, and there's gonna be some kind of shelving maybe on both sides. And that's that's the idea, part of the idea for her remodel. She has other ideas too, but uh, um, and she hasn't told me about them yet. Well, you see where the uh, the butane burner is? I never cook there, so oh no, um, it's just sitting there. So I need a shelf where I can maybe cook something, because uh, we have that Max Air fan that'll suck the uh, cooking oils out, out yeah. and smells, you know. Well, when we got home, it was still cold, and uh, the last thing I wanted to do was go outside and work. You know your fingers don't work very well below 45 degrees, and we were dealing with the high teens and the low 20s. But I put electric heater in the trailer, and the only bad part was going between the trailer and the heated garage, where I was making all the cuts and everything, but I managed to get some work done. Anyways, this is how it went. Yeah, there's that. I just installed this this past winter and what a difference it makes warming my garage up. Warms my garage up in just a few minutes. I had been using this pellet stove and it would take about an hour and a half to get any heat in the garage. That's coming out of here now. So I've already started tearing up the front of this trailer. You can see I got the stack removed off the stove and I'll be taking that out right now. I've got a drawer system coming today that I'm gonna install in the center. And uh, I'm not going to take you along and show you every little detail of, of how to do this. I, I assume that you know how to operate a saw and a hammer and a drill. So uh, I'll just show you what I'm doing and how this turns out to get a little more storage and usability out of the front part of our 6x10 cargo trailer. Well, I did go down and pick up a nice 4x8 sheet of uh, beautiful half-inch birch plywood. Nice smooth surface. And I made a pattern of the front V. Just make it out of scraps and hot glue it together so it fits and you know where every little point is that you can draw to. Well, this is how the trailer remodel is going. I'm kind of in the middle of it. It's cold, it's snowing out, uh, it's cold here in the trailer. And I got a little heater going there, which works fine as long as the door is not open. Uh, yeah. Uh, but then the lighting in here isn't too good for video. Anyways, this is what I've got going. Uh, today I'm hoping to put in the backsplash and install the heater. That's just all sitting up there right now. That drawer system right down there, we ordered it through Amazon. It is a piece of junk. I tried to order the best one I could find, but it's just flimsy junk. But it's not going to last very long. But It'll, it'll be okay right now, and it's a lot more than what we had in here before, which was just little tiny drawers. So that's kind of nice, actually. That stands about 36 inches tall, and the drawers are about, eh, about 18 inches wide. So that's pretty good. One major change that we made is the Blue Eddy used to be down there on the floor, but now it's moved up, so it's not down there in the dust and everything anymore. And one thing having it up this high is it's way easier to read because for some reason Blue Eddie put white numerals on top of a baby blue background. That's impossible to see unless you get right up on it. And when it was down there on the floor, I could, I, it was really tough. Uh, otherwise, this Blue Eddie AC200P has been working out great. For RVs, the 200 Max is probably a better bet. I, I won't go into that right now, but... Uh, we're just hoping to get this to a point where we can leave on our next trip, which is coming up real soon. I plan on putting a shelf in underneath there. Down here, I need to put up a, kind of a, a fiddle across the front to make kind of a bin down there for chocks and levelers and things like that. 
Yeah, we're actually trying to trying to leave. This is March 30th. That's why there's still snow here. It's Montana, of course. And uh, in about another week, we plan on heading for Florida. Kind of thaw out. But trying to get this job done just to a point where we can go, it won't be it won't be finished. There'll still be plenty to do after that. But if I can just get it to a stopping point for this trip. Well, here's today's progress. I got the backsplash in and I got the um, uh, heat shield behind the stove and underneath the stove. Got the stove installed. The flue pipe is all done. Um, next step, hopefully tomorrow, is to put a shelf on top of that backsplash all the way across. Just a narrow shelf for spices and things. And then I got to get started on shelves or something for up here. Might be something temporary for this trip. Well, this is where we end up today. I didn't get more than a couple hours in, but I got the backsplash in, of course, the other day. And then there's a shelf up here and a, a fiddle in front so you can put stack things back in here. And then, oh, that sunlight's really bright there. A couple wicker baskets above. And that's where I'm at. The stove originally was down lower here, about 18 or 20 inches up off the floor. Now it's up higher. And I know some of you are gonna be concerned with move, with the heat being so high, but we always use a 12-volt fan to move the heat back down to the floor. So it's not gonna make any difference at all. And uh, when you move the heat down to the floor like that, it makes the whole trailer nice and warm. Well, that wind is howling today. I'll tell you, it's supposed to gust 60 this afternoon. Hey, but take a look at the at the almost finished product down here. I think it turned out kind of nice. It's not done. Um, I actually want to build shelves up on the front wall here. Those baskets are temporary. And um, I want to build some, oh, maybe another shelf across down in here or something. But we'll see. Yeah, the surface came out nice. Nice and durable. Uh, this little vase here, it's, it's made by hand. It was hand turned. Uh, and it was given to us in Ajo by Dean and Barbara. Um, actually, it was given to Linda. <laughs> Linda loves it. Thank you, Dean and Barbara. These are the two products I used on that front counter. Um, the Minwax Wood Finish Penetrating Stain uh, went down really nice. And you just kind of rub it on kind of heavy and then just wipe off all the excess. And then the finish I put on it was just Ace's Polyurethane. And it's a solvent, like it says, it's solvent based here. It's not a water, uh, a water mix. But let's see, it took about 24 hours before I could recoat it. I sand, was able to sand it lightly at that point to recoat coat it. And they say you got to let it cure for about 48 hours before you start sitting things on top of your countertop. Of course, I had to leave heat on in the trailer that whole time just to get things to dry. But it worked out. I was able to get it done. We've always had a problem with drawers coming open, so I put these child safety locks on here to uh, hold the drawers shut while we're on the road. And uh, I think they're going to be all right. They were cheap enough. Well, you know, I always say as you go through life, do everything in pencil. That way you can erase your mistakes. It's the same thing on your cargo trailer build or your van build or whatever it is you're building for, R for an RV. Uh, it's never going to be done. You're always going to be tearing something out and making it better. Anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you around. Hope to see you down the road.